Well, if any of you have watched my video so far, I'd have assumed I'm just a fair weather rider. This one will set the record straight. Whoa, black bearded, lamb. Shut up, Blackbeard. Idiot. So as it's my first video in the rain, that's uh, I guess what we'll talk about, fair weather riding. Um, I'd say it's actually probably a pretty fair assumption to call me a fair weather rider. I generally am. Yeah. Um, what went wrong today? <laughs> well, I got up and it was all right. And the forecast looked a bit touch and go for later on, but I wanted to ride my bike. And it wasn't due to rain till about seven or eight o'clock. It's now just after five. It's pissing down. It has been all afternoon. Why do you always talk about the weather? You're so British. So I guess it's actually a couple of months since I really rode in the rain. When I picked this up on the way home, I had about 20 miles of uh, pouring rain on the first day I got it. Um, but I've managed to avoid it since then. Now, I've not always been a fair weather rider, let's get this straight. Um, I started riding, uh, it's about 13 years ago now. Uh, back then, I didn't have a car. I didn't have a driving license, I didn't have a full bike license, so I was just on my CBT, like a lot of guys do. Um, I was 18 years old did my CBT and then started on my uh, on my full license which back then the A2 was uh, you had to be 21 for direct access and I couldn't do that because I was too young I was 19 when I did my test and I did the old 33 brake horsepower test so you do your test on a 125 and if you pass on that you're allowed to ride a bike restricted to 33 brake horsepower for two years and then once the two years is up your restrictions up no further tests no dicking around and there you go and that's what I did and then I was riding around on my bandit for a while and for years I, I didn't have a car I rode to work every day all year round the only time I took the bus was if it was snowing so no I, I haven't always been a fair weather rider but as you grow up you know the the opportunity of having a vehicle with a roof and dry and warm presenting itself on days like today is vastly more appealing than this shite so yeah I did uh, slack off with it I am out of practice with it as well, I have to take it fairly easy in the rain, I am out of practice in it. Um, albeit it's a bit better than last time I went out in the rain because now the tyres and the brakes are scrubbed in that they weren't last time. But you know, it's kind of miserable riding in the rain. Fair play, if you do this every day, fair play to it. I take my hat off because um, I don't miss the, uh, the endurance aspect of, oh, constantly um, fogging up my visor or clearing my visor or working out whether to keep it closed or open or wiping it with my finger and my gloves getting wet and putting your wet gear on the next day and all that shite but today I really wanted to ride my bike and I kind of there was a chance there was going to be some showers and I thought yeah why not we'll take the chance it looks like I might just dodge them like I did the other night um, it wasn't meant to be but saying that I wasn't that bothered about it this afternoon. I was sitting at my desk and uh, you see the rain coming down outside. It really didn't look that bad. Um, I'm gonna take it very easy down here though. Still cold tires, steep road that's usually covered in shite. And people hitting the brakes mid corner. That being said, this is something I do need to get used to again because I want to um, take the bike abroad at some point. I want to do some light touring on it. Um, it probably won't involve camping, hopefully. Um, maybe some sort of B&B &B touring, you know, lightweight stuff, a few days here and there. Um, load up a, ba a tail pack and a, and a tank bag and explore a bit. And to do that, yes, I'm probably going to get a fly screen to add on here and I'm probably going to get some slightly more touring suitable bike gear at some point. No, it's not the end of the world. It's just a bit of water, isn't it? I'm just take it a bit easier. Oh, try not to think about how cold I feel. Give you a little clean. Oh, I've 
I accept that I'm riding a bit like a wind, but I can't really see where I'm going. I don't know if the camera's really picking this up, but the visibility is very poor. Um, the rain's coming down quite hard. There's a lot of spray from other vehicles and things. But you know what? If you are a fair weather rider, I fucking each to your own. You know, I couldn't care less if if someone only rides their bike when it's double digits on the temperature and not a chance of a cloud in the sky. Bikes for a lot of people are just meant to be about fun, and this isn't particularly fun. That's why I, I tend to avoid the weather. This, for me, is about entertainment and enjoyment. Um, I've been through that time where I had to use it day in, day out as a tool, as my main mode of transport for doing the shopping, um, going to work, and I have better options for those things now. And so I like to keep this as an object of enjoyment. And I don't blame anyone that does that. But likewise, fair play, if you do do this every day, it's a tough crack. It gets miserable at times and sticking with it and keeping your passion for bikes despite riding it in horrible weather. Um, I guess it's probably quite character building. Um, it's a, as I say, it's a number of years since I've done it and I don't miss it because this isn't particularly enjoyable. I can't really see what's around. I can't um, judge my grip levels too well at the moment. I'm not, you know, I've never. I've only been on these tyres once in the rain, and that was when they weren't even scrubbed in. So I was being like fucking badly on ice. So let me know what you think. I mean, do you do you guys um, do you guys just ride for fun, or are you are you hammering out the miles every day, no matter what? And what has that ever changed for you? Like me, did you start off with um, nothing but bikes in your blood and soften up as you got older, or did you go the other way? Did you um, move into bikes late and decide to give up the cars? It's something I thought about recently. Um, you know, when deciding to buy a new bike, I thought, oh, no, why don't I get a Triumph Tiger? I could get heated seats, heated grips, a decent windscreen, and enough luggage space to do my shopping and I can go around the world on it. Why don't I just do that and ditch off my van? It was a consideration for a little while. You know, you get ABS and traction control and all the clever gizmos. And then uh, then one morning it was minus five and I got in my van and turned the heater on and I thought, nah, fuck it. Note to self, only ever buy waterproof boots. Here you go, Icon Elsinores, not for the rain. What the fuck are you doing? Yes, you are a hazard, sir. Have you noticed? This rain's making me more sweary. Cool, I had the overwhelming urge to wave to that van. I see him when I'm driving my van now again. He always leans out his window, throws me the horns. Oh, it's still on. It's impressive. <laughs> I wonder if the water's going to kill it between here and home. Cover, drain cover, drain cover. This is like the city of drain covers along here. But at least it's a bit of proof for you. I'm not just a fair weather Bonneville riding hipster. Yeah, this proves nothing. Some of the best rides I've been on have been in the worst weather. Did some out riding for a charity run a couple of years ago. It was an Easter egg run over, uh, over in Maidstone put on for the Chatham or Medway Children's Hospital. The forecast was terrible all week, it was cold, it was the early part of the season where not many people have been riding. Me and a few guys said we'd do the out riding. And you know, it's one of those days I woke up, if I hadn't said I'd do the out riding, I wouldn't have gone. It was hideous. Like the rain was hammering down, it was cold, the wind was howling. I thought, you know what, if this was anyone else, if this was any other ride, I would sack it off and stay in bed. We rode the pack up from Maidstone up towards the Medway Towns where another group of guys took over the final part for the, for the run into the hospital. And it was it was a great day out. I had a while of time. As soon as we got the pack rolling and, and our outriding duties had started, I forgot all about the weather. Uh, but you know, we did what we said we would do and everyone made it there safe and sound and everyone made it home again afterwards. And um, we got loads of Easter eggs for the children's hospital as well. They ended up getting um, 
something like 160 Easter eggs and there's only about 12 beds in the children's ward. So I think we gave them all diabetes, but um, it was worth it. Well, um, it might not have been worth <laughs> It's definitely something that brightened up a lot of kids' days and their stays in that hospital. And that, that's a great biker thing, isn't it? There's loads of this sort of thing going on. Be sure to check out your local bike cafe or motorcycle club or Facebook riders group because someone will be doing something worthwhile. And it's great to get involved in these, whether it's a show, whether the gate donations go to charity or a toy run for the for the hospital or an Easter egg run or something for the air ambulance. We've done things for the Kent Air Ambulance before as well. And uh, that's that's a cause that's very close to my heart. And then I heard today Chris Cornell died. What the fuck? I'm going to go. I have to go home and listen to some audio slave, man. Found in his uh, found in his hotel room in the early hours of this morning, dead on tour at the age of 52. And for someone that grew up with the sounds of Soundgarden and Audio Slave as a bit of a soundtrack, you know, that was quite a surprise seeing that this afternoon nearly even forgot to talk about it because uh, I was so incensed by the weather or so inspired by the weather for my topic it's the bike shed show in just over a week I won't be riding up there for that because I'm going to drink beers so I'm going to jump on the train up to London tube it across town to tobacco dock for the show I was, I'm really looking forward to that one. If you've enjoyed watching me get wetter than Arthur's pocket, be sure to tickle that good thumb. And I'll catch up with you all again soon. This has been Blackbeard with Black Betty. Ride safe, everybody. Peace.